All right, moving to the weather now. Tomorrow, a KDK first alert weather day. And Ron, you were talking earlier. Yep. We had what? Three confirmed tornadoes, but now we know a total of four. Four confirmed tornadoes. So I'm working right now on updating our map, our 2024 map. So I will have that. That's what I was just working on, uh, making sure I locate all of those tornadoes. And, and the National Weather Service is saying that there's a uh, that there's a chance that they have a fifth that they haven't completed the work for yet. So we could have seen on Wednesday night, two nights ago, two days ago, uh, we could have seen five tornadoes having an impact across the area. Uh, so I'll be blogging about this and I'll also be showing you that map uh, as soon as I get it uh, ready. Strongest storms. Uh, okay, let's talk about Saturday because we actually have another first alert uh, weather day that's coming. And unfortunately, it's going to be a very similar setup uh, to what we saw on Wednesday. Now, uh, tornado forecasting is always interesting because we don't for it's not like rain where you see that rain coming through. We're forecasting for the conditions, and so a lot of that is the data behind the scenes that we're looking. That data is showing higher than normal risk of tornadoes being possible coming up on Saturday. So we do obviously have some concerns there. Uh, still, when it looks at the percentage of what you're going to be dealing with, everyone's going to see some strong winds tomorrow. Large hail will also be a big concern as we're going through the day. There's not much out there right now. We actually have some clouds rolling in. I'm a little concerned there. Uh, because we're looking at and these clouds should lift, allowing us to see sunny conditions this afternoon. We also have you can see it just off to the west. The rain showers that are there. We are going to be under this is for tomorrow. We are under that uh, level two out of five, five being the highest severe weather risk. I do expect to see that some of our area, including basically where this tornado risk is highest, we will likely see a level three out of five going into Saturday once they update everything. The closer you get, the higher the confidence and you start to see that uh, risk map at least potentially uh, going higher with the risk level there. That's why I expect that to change. So you can see this is something we don't show this a lot of times because most of the time our tornado risk is so low, uh, but we have it fairly high at this time. Uh, so I, I do have obviously some concerns there. I got to quickly get through the day. Just kind of show you some of the rain showers and thunderstorms line of storms coming in kind of late into the afternoon, and that's going to bring us that chance for severe weather uh, that we're just talking about. All right, temperatures right now at 60 degrees outside 52. Most places are actually into the 50s out there. 86 your expected high. Here's your forecast 86 today. I'll put your noon temperature uh, right there near 80 degrees. Here's your seven day Saturday. First alert weather day cooler heading into next week and the 4th of July. We're looking at a high of 88 degrees.